What's up, Ivo Penguins? Today, we're going to do 2017 number eight on membrane proteins. And so estrogens are small hydrophobic lipid hormones that promote cell division and develop reproductive structures in mammals. Estrogens passively diffuse across the plasma membrane and bind to their receptor proteins in a cytoplasm of target cells. So we have to think about how estrogens are hydrophobic and that they are supposedly able to diffuse. So A asks us to describe one characteristic of the plasma membrane that allows estrogen to passively cross the membrane. So think about the plasma membrane, and you're going to remember that it's made up of phospholipids, specifically bilayer. So phospholipids are made up of a uh, phosphate head that is hydrophilic, and then fatty acid tails that are hydrophobic. And it's, as I said, a bilayer. So those tails are on the inside with the heads on the outside, and so it makes that bilayer. So the interior of the membrane is hydrophobic, as well as like, kind of thinking about those estrogens that can pass in between those phospholipids. So two options you could put that the membrane is hydrophobic or nonpolar, and that there could have moved between the space between phospholipids. Student says plasma membranes are formed of phospholipid bilayers with middle region made of hydrophobic tails. Because these are hydrophobic, the estrogens can diffuse between the tails and into the cell. This allows small and uncharged hydrophobic molecules to diffuse into the cell passively. So part B says, in a laboratory experiment, researcher generates antibodies that bind to purified estrogen receptors extracted from cells. So in case you don't know, Antibodies are just proteins, and they're made from uh, B cells. So the B cells are going to make these antibodies. Um, and so because of the fact that they are proteins, they're going to be hydrophilic. So the researcher uses antibodies in an attempt to treat the estrogen-dependent cancers, but finds the treatment is ineffective. Explain the ineffectiveness in the antibodies for treating the estrogen-dependent cancers. So if the antibodies are polar, or hydrophilic, then they're not going to be able to pass through that plasma membrane because they're expecting the receptor to be on the plasma membrane. So since the antibodies can't get through the plasma membrane, they cannot bind to the receptors. And if they can't bind the receptor, then they can't inhibit the estrogen from binding. So that's why they're going to be ineffective. So options, antibodies are unable to enter the cell, as well as antibodies will not bind to the estrogen receptors. So a student says antibodies are unable to cross plasma membrane of the cells. The receptor proteins are located within the cytoplasm of the cell. Because of this, using antibodies to block the receptors would be useless as antibodies are too large to enter the cell and bind to receptors. So here's our answer. I hope that was helpful. Remember, a 5 pen is dress for success. Bye, y'all.